Biotech Project presents Do-It-Yourself DNA Extraction. We start off this activity by asking, what is DNA? What does it actually do? DNA is a molecule that encodes our genetic instructions in the form of nucleotide bases. These bases are called adenine, thymine, guanine, and cytosine. These A's, T's, G's, and C's for short are in a certain order that are special to each individual, making you, you. DNA is found in most cells, but what is a cell? Cells are the smallest level of organization for life. Cells make up tissues such as skin, tissues make up organs such as your stomach, and organs make up an organ system such as your digestive system. These systems all come together to make an organism. Cells are also responsible for taking in nutrients and removing waste. They are able to do this by using an external membrane made up of a phospholipid bilayer. This bilayer protects what is inside of the cell from what is outside of the cell. Inside of the cell, there is a balance of about 0.9% salt water. There is also a nucleus that has its own external membrane, also made up of a phospholipid or fat bilayer. This nucleus is important because it protects and stores our DNA. DNA is tightly organized into a structure called a chromosome. Let's now extract DNA from our cheek cells. To begin extracting DNA from our cheek cells, we'll have to swish a 0.9% solution of salt water to make sure that our external membrane stays intact. This swishing should happen vigorously and continuously for one whole minute. Be careful not to lose any of your sample. After swishing for one minute, spit your cells and salt water back into the cup. We will begin using a detergent solution to gently break the cell membranes. The detergent is able to break down the phospholipid or fat bilayer, much like dish soap cleans a greasy lasagna pan. As you gently rock your tube, the detergent is reacting with many cells at once to break down the phospholipid bilayers of both the cell and the nucleus. This allows us to be one step closer to seeing your DNA. Rocking time is two minutes. Can you see our DNA? Not yet. We add chilled ethanol to make our DNA precipitate. DNA doesn't like to be dissolved in ethanol. When the DNA comes into contact with chilled ethanol between the two layers, DNA comes out of solution and wicks out. Notice that the ethanol forms a layer on top of the detergent layer. It is important not to mix these layers. Upon adding the cold ethanol, bubbles become visible where the two layers meet. The DNA will appear as a white thread-like material between the bubbles. This process can take anywhere from one to two minutes. To remove your DNA sample from your tube, carefully pipette the stringy layer between the top ethanol and bottom detergent layer into a small tube with an ethanol for long-term storage. Feel free to place a small tube onto your favorite color of string and keep it as a necklace. We hope you had fun learning about DNA today.